Hi guys, today I'm showing you how to do the 3D blooming using our Peasant Art Craft Resin 1 to 1 ratio by volume Hi guys, it's Jenny here We are making a 3D blooming flowers today First of all, I'd like to, like to introduce our new Peasant Art Resin AMB Okay this is one to one ratio by volume. Now we start making the um, resin. This mold is a four inch mold. You need is eighty gram per coaster. So you need three twenty gram altogether. But we're making a backing as well. So we start making it by two fifty gram. So that is. A and B, so I need 125 gram each. So, pour and this, we put the B first before the A. So now we mixing it. Yeah, guys, it's really important, I think, to uh, put your uh, hardener in first. And what that does, that ensures that the sides of the container has got all the molecules of uh, part B. So then when you add part A, your resin, it's going to come into contact with uh, the part B molecules. If you don't do that, quite often what happens is you can have sticky resin on the side, which might not have enough hardener and may not cure. Jenny's put the part B in and now she's adding the part A to get up to the 250 mils that she requires. Now it's up to 250 now. Okay, when you're stirring your resin, make sure you stir slowly, that not make a lots of bubble. And make sure you scrape the side and go to in the middle. Scrape it, turn it, scrape it, turn it. It's a bit boring here, but that's the way to learn. Another key thing to remember, guys, is that the one-to-one -one ratio, like all of our resins, is high UV rated. The UV additive that they put into this resin is crystal, crystal, crystal clear. So now you see it is, it's crystal clear. You just let it sit for a little while, and then you let the bubble race on top. So Jenny, Jen, uh, I've only got the big uh, torch here. Do you use that or do you use the little green one? Yeah, I use my little green one, just a blue flame lighter. That's enough for the little mold. Masking tape. Wrap it over and just stick it gently. And do you use uh, a mold release wax like a silicon spray? Some people like to use it, I don't because I just sometimes you get a thumb over it. So I noticed you pay quite a lot of detail or quite a, you pay quite a lot of attention to ensuring that uh, there's no dust in there, yeah? Yeah, don't want my customer to be upset for little things like this. That's what my job was. And now we're looking at my my blooming paste. That is our passionate blooming paste. Paul gonna put on line for us very shortly, and I love this product. It bloom really nicely, and you just need a tiny little bit for blooming. And then you can do waves as as well. A lot of things with it. Okay guys, that's a very interesting point. I mean, I use the Color Passion Top Cell White quite a lot, but our Passion Art um, Blooming Paste, I have to say, is really, really good. Now, I just need a little cup. And I insist he give me some little paper cup and he hasn't got it for me yet, so I need a big one, okay? I am just such a naughty, naughty boy, but I will make sure I go out this evening and get you a whole heap of uh, little paper cups. 
Look at these big gloves. Paul's glove. Paul's big gloves and Jenny's I'm sorry, Jenny. Yes. I know. I have to go out and get you some extra small gloves for your extra small hands. All right. Look. Make sure you stir it. So the amount you use of the bloom is like hardly anything. Yep. And dip it and scrape off one side and leave that little amount. That little amount, can you see guys? Okay, I do it again, you stir. Scrape everything off. Everything off, slide, slide, everything off. Tip that little bit, and scrape the bottom off and the side off, and leave that tiny little bit. It might be more than enough. So you just put it there and stir it. I always have. I always have um, baby wipes around me. I leave it there and I change it to a clean stick. And I don't put extra in. And look at that. That is not enough, you can see. So I change the stick again and put because I still got some more white there. And I scrape this side and this side. Here we go. So. I'm just checking my temperature. It's up to. Just look. It's 33. It's time to decant. It's still translucent, but it's not opaque, opaque. When you tilt, you still see it translucent. Okay? Now I put it in my piping bag. It's just a piping bag. I just put it all in there. I might don't need all 30 grams, but I just like this. I like to skip everything, everything out of my cup. Okay. Now I can take this out. Okay, now, wish me luck. So you're pouring, so it's about halfway or just over? Just over. Just over halfway. I just try to equally. And how much space are you leaving for the uh, backing? About one to two mil? As many as everyone's like, if your calculation this way should be as much as you like, to be honest. Under this video, in the how-to uh, session, we're also going to have a downloadable PDF that uh, has everything in text format, so you can see. Uh, so you can see the pictures and um, be able to print it out and be able to just print it on your wall and do it step by step if that, if that, if that will make it easier for you. With us fact that it's slightly my fault you now I've actually got the door open so uh, we actually had the resin room heated up to about 35 okay. Celsius today guys. Quickly burst the bubble before you do the alcohol ink, after the alcohol ink in, please don't use your torch. I'm I'm Why don't you want to use the torch after putting the alcohol in? What do you think? Alcohol and flame. Okay. Okay, now, let's watch 
whole juice, peach rind, and set fire food. Okay, shake it. Make sure you you shake it. Shake it before you drop it. Okay, good shake. It will shrink back in the middle. So I try to put it right against the outside, the edge. outside of the edge. Okay. Blue upside. Okay. I like to do it like this way. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You put like this, right in between. And then you get out now. That will be a middle. And the blue is starting to go towards the center yep. there. Correct. And then now, because my is sinking in, so now you can put the red outside now. It might not look so nice now. But it will. It will. Okay, see how that goes, eh? Cut that little bit, like two mil. Okay, to start off with, and see how the stream come out. Okay. So we have a very very fine stream. See how thick is your resin? That's why I weight it. Okay. Oops. Okay. People like go inside and out, but me like to go outside and in. Okay. You just watch which way you like. And don't, enough that you don't push your bag and just let it drag I don't really pushing my bag and there's enough to hold that you can go slowly well I hope you don't pull my head because I've got a big head <coughs> he's naughty eh guys that's poor for you. Okay, now you're drawing your pet petals. Okay, make sure you got a towels or baby wipes or anything. You wipe every single one you do because I don't like to mix my color. So you pull around up to the last line. I don't really like egg petals for this one. Pull in and then you pull out. Very, very low. The lower it is, the better it is. Now it looks more blue. Hey guys, I'll see you in a few hours and I'll do the baking for you. And 
See you guys shortly. Hope you enjoy it. Hello guys, uh, Nori and Jenny, <coughs> who's worried about her hair at the moment, <laughs> uh, are just about to um, unveil the coasters. So you want to open them up and see what you think, Nori? Yep. Just carefully go around the outside edge, peel the mould apart. Put it down, don't show anyone yet. Okay. Oh, just show us, brother. Turn them up and lay them out on the board, bro. Right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Wow. Well, there you have it, guys. They look absolutely yeah. stunning. If I twirl the middle, it won't have the bulb. I just always forgot. Yeah, the little blob in the centre doesn't really matter. I mean, like, you know. Some of these uh, Australian people that do these videos, they must only do like about 20 videos to get one right, you know? But at the end of the day, guys, if you have a little blob, don't worry about it. I mean, it's <coughs> actually it looks like the center of a bud of a flower, doesn't it? Absolutely stunning. So you are uh, happy with what you made? Yeah. I think you've done very well. Actually, it's all good. Hey, <laughs> eh? Jenny, help you like there? Oh, his one will be coming up shortly. Oh, that's right. Your one, uh, your ones are these ones here. Yeah. So you're just about to put a backing on. What colour backing? Black? Or mm -hmm. blue? Or what? What colour backing? You decide, you're the boss. <laughs> we think about it, we, yeah. we think about it a bit later. Yeah. Maybe blue? Yeah. Blue or blue. green? Mm, green. Green can look cool. Green. Right. I think green is cool. Yeah. yeah. Okay guys, so we'll come back to that, but uh, that concludes the um, video for, uh, tutorial on how to do these blooms. And uh, we're also going to have a whole lot of pictures and a PDF uh, just um, <coughs> laying out the steps. Very happy and, uh, for the yeah. first time. Yeah, yeah, very happy the first time to use those alcohol ink, our alcohol ink and our... Our passion bloom paste. Yeah. That's all good. Yeah, very happy about the results. And I love the passion... Color passion. Um, what's the colour we use for the backing? Excuse, I just go and quickly grab this again. Kami Shimmer. Is Beautiful it? Beautiful blue. Yeah. Beautiful blue. Yeah, the backing. 